Hello buddy, Doug here. We are doing a DJI drone test. We're gonna see how far it lands when we take off from our landing pad. It's just a piece of paper. I put a helicopter pad on it. We're gonna take up, fly a little far away, and we're gonna see how good the return to home function actually works on our DJI device. And this is pretty much the same with DJI 3, Pro, and even the Forge probably. Probably yeah. had the same. The Mavic and all of them. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and take off here and see how it goes. The propellers are firing up. What altitude have we set for the return to home? 50 meters up. Just set it in the All right, we're heading north from our flight location at an altitude of about what, set up 60 feet? You're at 100 feet right there. Is that 100 feet? Yep. Okay. We don't have the uh, Range, ex range extender on it right now. You have a little counter tells you how far away you are. You are far from us. Thirteen hundred feet away. Thirteen quarter mile away right now. All right, we are now going to push the return to home function. I see the drone out there. Oh, it's changing its location now. It's it doing something. It's toward us. It's we're going up. It's going up. It's just coming back. Okay, it looks like it's getting higher. I don't know if you can see it out there or not. It's just to the left of that big willow tree out there. And it's coming back here very, feet away from us. very rapidly. Yeah, I don't actually cool. see it. Oh, right there. Well, I see it, but I can't catch it on the camera. Oh. <laughs> and it's automatic. Oh, shoot. Automatically coming down. Oh wait! We really tried to return the home function too well. Just that one time in an emergency. Yeah, I know I'll explain that on the video. That's really slow. It, here we go. Now we're getting here. It's really slow coming down the final like 50 feet or so. Where's that at? There. Oh, there it is. You see, it's just it's going down like a foot a second maybe, which is really hard on the battery. But we want to let it drop itself down and see how close it actually gets to its launching point. These things have great compasses in them and gyroscopes oh, and... Oh! Right there. And a touchdown. Our launching pad marker and there's the drone and I would say that's about one, two, three, four feet. Four feet Four away feet from the launching pad. Away from the launching pad and an automatic return function. Which happens if your battery starts to get low and you don't bring it back right away, it'll automatically return to home. Or if you get too far away and you lose contact with your controller, it'll come home. Or if your cell phone or controller tablet goes dead, it'll return to home. We were actually flying over Lake Orion, over many trees and water, and my phone shuts off and dies. Me and my father freak out because we were only we only owned the drone maybe a week or so. But then me struggling to get my phone back on, the drone we actually hear it coming back and it landed just about this, about four feet away from where I took off at. So shout out to DJI for making an incredible product that actually does what it's intended to do. And we have to remind you to make sure if you do have one of these, you set your return to home altitude high enough so that it climbs up above any obstructions that are right around you. So they say we're right next to these tall trees here. If we didn't have the altitude set up above the height of these trees, theoretically it could crash into these trees on its way back to us. So make sure you have your return to home altitude set to a level that's above any obstacles that are right around you. All right, now we're going to do some more videos. <laughs> 